a very good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome you all back to my channel Tia Dental DK. As you all know my name is Dr. Thuba and the main aim of this channel is to provide guidance for all the medical professionals and the skilled professionals who would like to consider other countries as an option to work in, acquire education from or to settle down in etc. So before we get on with the video guys my humble humble request if you're new to the channel or if you like my content kindly do subscribe to my channel so that more weekly content is available to you. So now without much further ado let's start with the video. So today what we're going to talk about is actually Austria and how can a dentist work in overseas dentist or foreign dentist non-EU work in Austria. So the, the process is a little complicated but of course like always I've jotted it down in points. Um, these are the contents that we're going to talk about and step by step we are going to uh, talk about it so that it's going to be very easy to understand and comprehend what this is all about. So I hope it really helps. So now without much further ado let's start. Let's start with the main um, recognizing body in Austria when it comes to dentistry. Just like there's GDC in England, there is patient authority in, um, in Denmark. Just like that, when we talk about Austria, it is actually the Austrian Dental Chamber. So that's where we have to send our documentation. So the procedure basically is that when we, um, we have decided that we're going to work in Austria, we would like to work in Austria as a dentist. We are already a dentist in our own country. So what we do is we have to go through a process which is called nostrification. Now, basically, this is just like how we say authorization in, in English or authorization also in Danish, that when we send our documents, we send it for authorization so that we get authorized to work as a dentist in that country. So here what we have to do is the main aim is to send you documentation so that we can get nostrification, which is the authorization. And after that, we give the, uh, the dental exams. And after that, we can work as a dentist. But here there's a little, it's a little different here because before we apply for the authorization or the nostrification, how we say, we need to fulfill some documentation. Now that documentation would require a little time and we're going to talk about that. Because in Denmark, it's a little different that first you send all your documentation, um, your degrees, transcripts, etc. And once it's approved, then you come to Denmark, you learn Danish, etc. But in, in Austria, it's a little different. So how it is in Austria is that first uh, you have to go through a procedure and then you apply for nostrification. Once the nostrification is approved, after that, you have to start the uh, you have to start preparation or if you've already done preparation during the procedure when they were assessing your documentation you have prepared for the dental exam and after it is approved you can apply for a dental exam the dates will be uh, will be told to you will get emailed to you and you will book the exam this is how it's done and now we're going to cover the step-by-step -step procedure of how to go through it when we talk about authorization or nostrification, we have to give our documentation not only to the chamber, but the procedure is that we have to give the documentation or apply or request for nostrification in three of in any of the universities of the three main cities. Now, the cities I mentioned right here. So we have to basically find the medical universities of, of any of these cities and we have to send a request to them, the request for uh, application or the request for the nostrification. So what we do is we email it to them and then of course they would, they're very helpful. They send you, you know, the curriculum and they guide you through of what you have to do. So this is a small thing that I had to clear when it comes to nostrification. Now, what is the procedure? The procedure is that first thing, you have to start learning the uh, the German language. I was about to say Danish, the German language, because uh, the medical exam, the dental exams, and the uh, um, mode of communication is in German. So first, what you have to do for Austria is that you have to learn the German language, and the German language has to be done till C1, which is a pretty high level. So make sure your German is up to par, because of course, whenever it comes to uh, you know. Uh, all the European countries, the language is very important. They give huge significance to their language. So here German is the language that you need to learn. So first you have to start by learning the German language. Once the German language is done or you're already in the process of, you can email to the, the, uh, the emails I've sent, uh, it was written right here. You can, in, in any of the universities or of any of the city, you can actually send an email to them and you can uh, uh, talk to them about it that, you know, you want to give this exam. You are interested to work as a dentist. Say you are already done with German or you are about to finish German language. So they would, of course, guide you through and send you an email and everything with the prerequisites mentioned. So once your German is done, the, this is one of the main things. It's already done. Now you can apply for the notification in which you have to send them a bunch of documents and uh, request them to, you know, uh, author, give the authorization. All the uh, documents I mentioned right here, 
these are the documents that uh, you know you can uh, you can see now one of the documents here of course is that how um you need a permit a resident permit of course if you're already in austria it's going to be very easy but if not there are ways to go to austria as well which we will discuss soon but first you all of these documents are very important you need these documents and important thing guys these documents have to be translated in german language and in the original so copy has to be given in the original and in german as well but the german uh, the translation has to be from a certified uh, court translator so it can't be done from anyone it has to be certified translator so once you're all of these documents mentioned out ready you have to send all of these documents now um you can also give it in person uh if all, you're already in austria it's better that you give it by hand and you go in person and you talk to them and you give submit all the documentation now with that because the german is already done either they would I mean, they actually take around three to six months for the nostrification during that time they would give you a curriculum and of course um our, uh, you know regarding the dental license exam i would make another video talking about the austrian dental license exam but by then you also have a little idea of it because they would tell you um this the neighbors so you can start preparing for the exam as well so once this nostrification is done then they give you the authorization or the nostrification that you have been approved after that you can actually work uh, you can actually select the dates and you are allowed to basically sit in the dental exam so you can select the dates and then you can sit in that dental exam and of course once you pass the exams you get the full authorization you're allowed to work this is the procedure so let's just recap one more time first you have to learn german language professionally you'll see one level after that you have to collect a bunch of documents uh, to get them translated in german and send the english and german both uh, copies to uh yeah the emails mentioned or to uh whatever address they want you to send or digitally etc it depends upon which university you apply to and right after that when that is done you have to prepare for the exam when you're approved uh you prepare for the dental exam you give the exam and you're good to go so this is the main procedure of how can you work as a dentist in austria and what is the procedure and prerequisites so now the next what we have to talk about is how are we going to go to austria so first thing uh, obviously if you are already living in austria for example you are working there for in something else or you are already on spouse visa so it's very easy because you're already there so your work is going to get much easier in comparison to if you're back in in some other country so now how do we go there first way of going to austria is of course if you're already married there you have a spouse visa your spouse is either an austrian citizen or a european citizen it's going to be much easier for you second if you are not uh, a spouse of a, a citizen or you don't have a resident permit but you can go there by education if you or if you plan to work um, work as a dentist there you can also actually get, uh, get masters in austria and of course i'll make another video regarding masters as well that how do we get into masters in austria you get into masters and that way also you are already there so you can submit the application if they need it in person and it's going to be easier to you know give the exam as well if you're already there so this is the second way and the third way of course is that you can always apply for a visit visa back in your country and from there you can go there and you can give the exam so these are the three ways by which you can go to austria for me according to my opinion the easiest way would be if you can get uh, education uh, of course if you are not uh, if you're not uh, you don't have a spouse uh, who is an austrian citizen so of course it's very very easy this is a much of a faster route to go by uh, through education uh, through the education route apply for masters go there uh, german you should already learn before and apply for nostrification and you're good to go so these are the three ways by which you can actually go to austria as far as the austrian dental exam is concerned the syllabus for the dental exam and what do they want what is the pattern how does it work that would be definitely uh, covered in the next video hopefully so stay tuned for my next video as well guys so you would have more information about how are the dental exams conducted there i wanted to make a separate video of that because it would be a little longer if i include in this one it would be a bit too complicated all right ladies and gentlemen so with that i conclude this video i really really hope this video helped and especially for all the dentists out there who would like to consider austria uh, as an option to work in and of course if there are any questions guys please do message me on my instagram uh, because i'm more active on instagram in comparison to gmail or any other social media um and yes uh, everybody's asking about my social media as well i would uh, make a brief short and uh, tell everybody which social media do i use the most and where can you email me where can you add me and where can you stay in touch with me 
So I'm working on the social media, it's actually, because it's, it's very difficult, because with YouTube, it sounds easy, but it's very difficult, because with YouTube and Instagram, it takes so much of my time. So having more social medias, which many people have recommended me, um, a TikTok and all, but I don't use it that much. But of course, with time, I'm going to use it more. So please bear with me till then. And other than that, um, I hope, uh, I really wish that you all have uh, a lovely week. And if there are any other questions, guys, you're more than welcome to contact me on Insta. And uh, lastly, um, have a lovely week. And thank you very much. Good day.